Is there a hacker in your wallet? What should consumers do to protect their data after the Capital One breach? After one of the largest consumer breaches in history, more than 100 million Capital One customers and credit applicants have to be wondering who's in their wallet. A former Amazon Web Services employee exploited a firewall misconfiguration, one that may have exposed another 30 companies according to the post-breach reports. As a sizable number of social security numbers and linked bank accounts were exposed, at the very least, consumers should place fraud alerts on their credit files, or better yet, freeze their credit at each of the three major credit reporting agencies. It's now free. Whether or not you were affected by the breach, it's a good idea to sign up for transactional monitoring alerts from your bank, credit union, or credit card company, which notify you in real time of any suspicious activity in your accounts. You can also purchase more sophisticated identity monitoring programs that can detect exposures of your sensitive personal information on the dark web.